much water would it take to put out the sun? First off, let's leave the sun alone and experiment on another type G2V star. Maybe CD75967, which is 91 light years away. We also need a lot of water. And I mean a lot. In fact, more than exists in our galaxy. But handily, 12 billion light years away is more than we need in APM 08279 plus 5255. A giant elliptical galaxy surrounding a supermassive black hole with a mass of 23 billion solar masses. It contains 100 trillion times more water than the Earth, making it the biggest source of H2O in the known universe. It's about to become our galactic reservoir. We just need a giant space tap and a wormhole, with one end here and the other at our tap. Easy. Now, we're not going to be able to put it out as you would a fire. The sun's a giant broiling ball of plasma, and its heat, rather than coming from combustion, is freed from the fusion of hydrogen into helium. The speed of the reaction is reliant on the mass of the star. Our sun is middle-aged. It, and our experimental proxy, have a lifespan of about 10 billion years. But if we made it more massive by turning on our giant space tap, we can speed up its demise. Every two seconds, we're going to double the mass of this star. Watch the counter on the right for the mass in solar masses and the lifespan in years. When it inevitably collapses into a black hole, a large amount of the mass is thrown out into space, and the energy released as X-rays and gamma rays will be bad news for any nearby solar systems, wiping out life for many, many light years. But we have successfully made quite a nice nebula, but more on that in another video. If you enjoyed this, give it a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep thinking.